Hello everyone! Rice is probably the most popular food in the world and it is grown on every continent except Antarctica. Today I will show you how to make Persian style rice. Persian rice looks super fancy and complicated, especially with the golden crust of potatoes. But if you have the right recipe, you can make this amazing rice in about 50 minutes with minimum amount of cooking skills. I guarantee this type of rice will impress your family and friends. Persian style rice is typically made with white bismati rice, which is a longer grain rice. This type of grains hold their shape during the steaming process and don't stick together. As a result, you will get a very fluffy rice. I will walk you through the simple step-by-step -step process on how to make this amazing rice. You can find a list of ingredients in the description of this video. Okay, step number one. Wash rice really well. You need to remove most of the starch and get water as clear as possible. Tip number one. Washing in the pot is a bit better, this way you can actually see when water becomes clear. When rice is clear, move it to the non-stick pot and add water to cover the rice about 1 inch. Add about 1.5 teaspoon of salt. Tip number 2. Invest in a non-stick pot with two handles. It makes it a lot easier to remove the rice when it's ready. Unfortunately, I didn't have a two-handle pot, so I had to go through a little bit of trouble, as you will see in the video. Now turn on the stove to medium heat and let it cook until water is fully absorbed into the rice. Cook for about 10 minutes. Time depends on quantity of rice and water you are using. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my weekly cooking inspirations. Like, share and comment. It will help a lot to support my channel. Step number 2. Once you see the water is all absorbed, drain and rinse rice under the cold water. In the meanwhile, peel and slice potatoes. I'm using mandolin slicer on setting number 2, which is just a touch over paper thing. Turn on heat on high, add oil and 1.5 teaspoon of ghee. When oil is hot, start layering potatoes on the bottom of the non-stick pot. Be careful, it's very, very hot. Add about 1.5 teaspoon of salt, then put the rice back on top of the potatoes. Make 5 to 6 holes with a spatula handle inside the rice. Cut 1.5 stick of butter into small pieces and put a pieces of butter inside those holes. Now cover the pot with a paper towel and close the lid on top, very tight. Let it cook for about 10 minutes on medium-high so potatoes will get a nice golden crust. After that, turn the stove to low medium heat and steam the rice for another 30 minutes. Instead of potatoes, you can also use lavash bread or nothing at all. Then the rice will get a nice and crispy. Alright, step number 3. Final step. Turn off the stove. Grind 1.5 teaspoon of saffron with mortar and pestle. Tip number 3. If you don't have mortar and pestle, take 1.5 teaspoon of sugar in a small bowl with the saffron and crush with a spoon until saffron breaks down into the smallest pieces as possible. Also, if you don't have saffron, you can try to substitute it with a turmeric. It will also give you a beautiful golden color. Cover ground saffron with 7 tablespoons of hot water and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now, using spoon, pour saffron water all around along the sides of the pot. Now you need to move the rice into the serving plate. This is where you should ideally have a pot with two handles and a large platter. It will make it a lot easier to turn it upside down with a platter on top. I had to ask for help. After a few tries, we were able to get it out. Very fluffy rice with a nice layer of crispy potatoes on top. I gotta say, potatoes are to die for. I hope you like this recipe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.